Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. I am Fiery Red Hero 8. In the last episode, we kicked Huff and Puff's butt, and now we are going to start this episode with a Peach segment. And I want to thank you for everybody who commented on the FYI video and who has waited patiently. It really means a lot to me that you guys, you know, understand and everything. So, yes, I really appreciate that, and thank you. Hey, Twink! You know the sneaky parasol I got on that quiz show? I can change into someone else when I use it, right? So don't you think I can use it to get out of here? No shit, Peach. Really. Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B while facing whoever it is you want to transform into. And now we will. Let's just get out of this room. And we will do that. Yep. I don't know about you guys, but it is a beautiful day out. And got my windows open. I'm just. Uh, yeah, I know it's like not even technically. Sm uh, is it technically spring? I don't think it is. But it's just got. I'm excited. Spring and summer. It's calling my name, I'm telling you. But yeah, don't press A when you hit, get here because you will get caught. I made that stupid mistake last night when I was very sleepy. <laughs> Hey, how goes it? Whew, they've been working me like a dog lately. Don't you think it's a little odd that there's a star following me? Say, I heard that Kami Koopa is building some big thing above Princess Peach's castle. I bet you it's a secret weapon designed to defeat Mario. Remember that line. Just download that in your brains and remember that. There's not much to do in this segment. But we are going to put the jam and jelly into the Harry Potter-like vanishing chest. And head up here. Because you can explore all the rooms, but really, it's not anything you've really seen before. On patrol? Very good, then. You can pass through. Okay. Let's just go up this hallway once again, where we were in the very first episode. You can talk to him, but you don't need to. Just talk to this guy. Where's my relief already? My shift, is, my shift has been over for ages now. Listen, could you go find that slacker and get him up here? Please, I'm exhausted. He looks like this. He's probably goofing off outside the castle somewhere. Here, take this to find him. All right, a pretty full pink key. It's the key to the entrance of the castle. You won't be able to get downstairs without it. Well... I kind of figured that in previous episodes when we saw there was a lock on that door. But yeah. Like I said, nothing too big in this episode. It's just, you know, not episode, but the segment. And I still don't know how to get that life stream out of that library. I mean, I remember looking and I didn't see any way to get up there. So... Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let me go up here. I don't know if this is the room. I don't think it is, but let me look and see. Of course it's not. Because you wouldn't have access downstairs in that early spot in the game anyway. But I figure since I'm walking around, might as well go look. Because they wouldn't put that up there if it was impossible to get, would they? Well, of course they wouldn't, but... Alright, that's that room, so it's probably this room. Yes, it's this room. Oh, it's a Hammer Brothers walking. What are you doing here? Get back to your station. Kami Koopa will chew us both out if she finds you are here instead of what, at your post. So I was correct here. Kami is the brains. Bowser is nothing but a figurehead. See, I don't... Wait a minute. Okay, okay, alright, alright. I think I get it now. Which means I won't be able to get to it late until later. Why do we bother patrolling? I mean, don't you agree? Sure, I know Princess Peach got out a couple of times. But this castle's hovering in the middle of the sky. Where's she gonna go, huh? I think King Bowser's nervous. He hides it well, though. Let's see who's back here. What are you doing back here, dude? Uh, what are you looking at? Uh, I'm not looking for the book that you think I'm looking for. What kind of book are you looking for? I swear, no fooling. I'm trying to study something. Here, take this and go away. Hey, sweet. 
I didn't know you could do that. But I think I get it now. Um, I guess that we can come back here, I mean, way, 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 way later. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything for anybody that hasn't played. So, yeah. But I think I gets it now. But yeah, for, and if you do know the answer, don't comment just because, like I said, there are people that haven't played this game probably watching. Or, I know some of you haven't played it, so any of you that do know, don't, don't spoil it. Let's keep going. Because, I mean, I, I don't think I've ever read that before on how to do it, but now that I know, it's... It's cool when you find things out on your own. And you can... This is pretty funny. You can actually talk to him as Peach and you won't get busted. Uh, Princess Peach, somewhere around here, close by. And then, press B, and he'll say something else. Hey, it's you! Oh no, it's just me! Hello, me! <laughs> Dumbass. But now we're a cute little clubba! I always thought, I mean, these guys are annoying, but I always thought they were cute the way they ran around. With little smiles on their faces. Actually, and what am I doing, of course? Yeah, before we go up there, let me put that shooting star out away. Because obviously it's no use to us, is it? Because I, and I, that's the first time I've ever found that shooting star. I have not, just like in the shooting star in Flower Fields, I've never found those before. So, good little surprises here and there. On patrol, very good then. You can pass through. Thank you very much. Okay. And yet we still sound like Peach's little footsteps, even though we're a clubba. It weighs a lot more than Peach does. Ah, oh, finally! About time! You're so late! Again! Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? Well, I guess I'll let you go this time, but watch it, okay? Okay. Have a good shift. I'm shoving off. Don't goof off, either! You're on thin ice, buddy! Yeah, like, we're really gonna sit here? Why would we be sitting here? There's no point to that. So, let's go in this door. And, of course, we're in an even more familiar place now, and the window has still not been replaced. It's kind of eerie. I guess Peach isn't in short after all. Let's just go up these stairs. Nothing new. That is kind of cool, though. Like I said, I really like the way this castle is designed. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Entry is prohibited for unauthorized people. But you're already up here, so I guess it's too late. It's a stupid restriction, anyway. Oh, I was gonna talk to that guy. Shit, it's Cammy. Okay, okay. Everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all the star spirits, we'll still be alright. It pays to expect the worst. Absolutely. Affirmative. You're right, Cammy Koopa. Hmm. You there. You're doing a fine job. Keep up the good... Wait. Something's weird about you. You smell... Too nice. Yeah! You! Why, you little Princess Peach! Unbelievable! Out again! Guards, all of you, catch this little runaway and take her back to her room! That was an easy catch. Come on, Peach, why don't you run? No! Little Twink's just hiding there. Cammy's such a bitch. Yay, we're back in Flower Fields! What a pleasure meeting you. My name is Clever. Thank you for saving me. Huff and Puff is gone, so the flowers in Flower Fields can now live peacefully once more. I feel that if you hadn't come, Flower Fields would never have seen the light again. Now there is only one of us star spirits still trapped. Just one more, Mario. Here, please use my power as you continue your fight. Mario's star energy goes up to six. 
Mario can now use timeout and new star spirit power. I believe that's just the same as the stopwatch. You can now stop time and all enemies in their tracks. Now you're able to use the power of six star spirits. If you use mine well, it should prove to be extremely helpful in battle. Don't become overconfident though. You must be careful. Bowser has power as well. Remember that even stronger enemies await you. I hope our powers will help you so that you may help us. We're all depending on you. I'll go back to Star Haven now. I can't wait to get there. I'm t I've been terribly worried about everyone. Congratulations, young Mario. You saved the Star Spirit. Because of your efforts, Flower Fields is beautiful again. Thank you, Mario. It was worth living so long to meet a man of your stature. Please come and see me again. I'll be looking forward to it. Well, it was very nice to meet you too, wise Wisterwood. And I did forget something in Flower Field, ironically enough. So, we're not leaving quite yet. Actually, I don't think we were supposed to. I always hit there for some, that green for some reason. Yeah, you don't want to hit that green. You want to hit this one. Duh. Because now, the puzzle seems pretty easy to me. <laughs> Let's just hope I don't screw it up. Too bad we can't just fly over and lock a luster's cloud, but of course I guess Mario's fat ass makes him way down. Yep! Yep! Because there is something I missed here and we'll need it for later, and don't you dare. Don't you dare. Aha! There is something in this area. Yep, got a letter for Minty and Toad Town. But I will be doing all the letter side quests in a separate video. Take my coin, seriously. No! But yeah, I'll be doing all those letters in another video and that will be after the next chapter that I do. I'm then going to stop and I'm going to do the letters and try to see what else needs to be taken care of before the end of the game. Because believe it or not, we're like nearly three quarters done with this game. Back to Toad Town. And that's actually kind of sad. I mean, it's like... I mean, I remember NCS said that in one of his LPs. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I think it was in Ocarina of Time. I don't remember, but it, 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 like you enjoy it and then you get kind of sad when it's almost over. But yeah. Now that we are done in Flower Fields, we are going to go ahead and see Merlon. Oh, dude, it's a ninja! Super Mario Brothers 2 reference! Oh, it's you. You came at such a good time. There's a guest waiting for you. Nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region, a chill place far to the north at the very end of the earth. Merle or Merle, who hails from there, said that he had something important to tell you, Mario. Merle of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. If he is searching for you, you can be sure something important is afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and take tidings of you to Merle. Okay. I think somewhere deep below Toad Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Starborn Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He waits in Starborn Valley. Okay. Well, we need to go back down to the sewers anyway, because as I noted on screen in uh, a couple videos ago, there is something I actually missed. So I'm just going to go back to that spot, and I will meet you guys there in just a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. And if you switch to Watt here, well... Not to sushi, to what? It's not necessary, but you can see there's an invisible coin block up there. So you can get a life shroom from that. And I believe that is, yes, that is everything in this area of the sewer. I'm just really sorry I missed that. But hey, any life shroom is welcome. Now, can I avoid you guys a second time? Damn it! You know, uh, I'm not even, I'm not even fighting, but seriously, you know when you push the button way too soon and you can. 
I just hate those moments where you know you, you know you're done before you even hit the ground because you know that you were you know what I'm saying. You know you messed up when you hit the button. But yeah. All right. Can I avoid you guys cuz I really don't want to have to deal with you. Mm. I'm losing a lot of coins here. No. I said no. I'm just going to exit and then go back in here. I know, I'm being a wuss right now. Alright! Two shooting stars in one episode. Can't get any better than that, can it? Okay. Again, you can use Watt to uncover these coin blocks, but it's not necessary. Come on. Okay. Now, 84 coins. So actually, I'm gonna go see what Rip Cheeto has. Before we do anything else. What do you have? All right, a repel gel. Cool. Yeah, I think he, to be honest, I feel like he has a certain order to things because, like they say, a lot of what he gives you isn't that valuable, but maybe I'm just having a lot of luck with him, but I've gotten a lot of good items from him. But I don't think it's luck. I think really it's just, that's the order. Okay, come on, Mario. I thought you had tightened your glutes, and I thought you had lost some weight. Start jumping like it. Okay. Go through here. We get some weird, tangy kind of music. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, pretty, but cold. There's a pipe there. And then... Oh, power up here. Power block. No. We're gonna use for lack of luster. And actually, cause um, lack of luster is upgraded. I was I was thinking of something, but I just it totally blanked out. Well, actually, no. Um. No, it's coming back to me now. Because I was just looking at Goombario and about leveling him up or upgrading him. Because somebody sent me a comment about actually how he could be useful. And please forgive me, but I don't know your name on the top of my head right now, but I will put it up on screen. But um, yeah, thank you for suggesting that. More than likely, I probably won't use it in this fight. Or not in this fight, but where he can be useful, I will give it a try. I might not have it on the LP, but I am going to give it a try. I just hope that there's another upgrade block, because if not, I'm screwed. <laughs> Chapter 7, A Star Spirit on Ice. Sounds like a good show. Ooh! It's Christmas time again! It's like... Oh, hello, penguin. Yeah, hello! This is the northernmost burg, Shiver City. You come from Toad Town? Very, very far away, yeah? Welcome to Shiver City. Okay, I see what kind of accent we might be doing going for here. But we're going to go all the way to the easternmost area. Let's see. Okay, that's locked. We're on alert because a stranger appeared in the city. So I can't let you pass without permission from the mayor. This building's a warehouse. Nobody can get in because some careless guard managed to lose the key to the door. Actually, I'm the one who lost it. I had it just a little while ago. <laughs> Way to out yourself, dude. Starborn Valley is a little ways off from this city. It's a very mysterious place. They say that star kids rise up to the sky from there. Because I haven't seen any stars rising to the sky lately. Okay. Now... I could have sworn that you could do something in here. That's the whole reason I came to this area, isn't it? Oh. Well, that's kind of... Okay. Wait a minute. I really love sliding around in the snow. Pingy, 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 pong. Snow is falling all day long. Skate or spin or sing a song. Whoa, hey. Doobie, say. Wave on, yay. What? Oh, I think I better practice. Okay. 
I love sliding on the ice. Wish! So much fun! How about you? Wanna join me? I'd love to slide. I'm the city guard around here. I'm investigating a report of a suspicious character wandering around the city. You! You're not him, are you? Probably is me, considering, well, other than that, other than me, there's these toads, but... What you're doing? What are you doing? Stop that! Have you lost your wits? What if the ice breaks? I don't care, dude, because I see a key down there. I want it! No! Are you a complete idiot? I told you not to do that. That's really dangerous. Oh, you're really dragging me out? Seriously? Don't you ever listen? You're a public nuisance. Take a hike. Oh my god, you seriously kicked me out. You... Hmm. Screw you. I was gonna say, are you actually gonna do anything? Let's see. Oh, it's all healed. Damn it. Okay, I'm like a... There's something I need to do in this town, but I swear that... Hmm. I'm just thinking to myself here because I know we go east first. So, oh, it's Chuck Quizmo. Let's talk to him anyway. Quiz! It's everyone's favorite Quizmaster, Chuck Quizmo. Want to try the quiz? Then let's go to the question. Question: What color of pants was the Goomba King wearing? Red and white. Didn't I already answer that? Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered four questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well. So long. Farewell. Till we meet again. Okay. Well, in that case, since we're really big on time here, or I'm actually just look, been recording for a while, so I'm actually going to... Stop this episode right here by the save block in Shiver City, and I will see you guys next time. So, peace out! <laughs>